Hello, this is what I'm going to code today. So I have 12 disks. So 12 times. And I'm going to have a disk class. And this is it for the markup. Now here I'm going to set a diameter value. And this one's going to be 7 ms. I'm going to set it on the disk elements. I'm going to have a width, which is going to be that D volume. I'm going to set the same value for the height. Okay, uh, now I'm going to set a box shadow, which is zero um, for everything except the spread, which I'm going to make something like this. And then I'm going to set a border radius. 50%. Now I'm going to uh, make everything absolutely positioned. So position absolute. Um, now I'm going to set a margin. And this is going to be a calc volume. Um, 50 viewport height units minus, and I need to interpolate this, half the diameter. And it's going to be something pretty similar for the left, but until then I have zero for the right and the bottom. Um, okay, and here I have viewport width, not viewport height. Okay, uh, now I'm also going to uh, distribute them around the circle. So I'm going to have transform. So first of all, I'm going to have a rotation here. So uh, rotate, and this is going to uh, depend, it's going to be a calc volume. And it's going to depend on the current index of uh, the disk times a base angle. And I'm going to need to interpolate this. So now let's see how I compute that base angle. So first I have a number of disks, which is 12. Then I have the base angle, uh, which is 360 degrees over that number of disks. Okay, uh, then I have a translate. Uh, let's say D for now, and now let's change that index. So for I from 1 to N, I'm going to have nth child, and here is I plus 1, and I'm going to set that custom property to the current index of the loop. Okay, so... Um, this uh, works, and I can set this with a default of zero. Um, or I can not just not bother with a default and just uh, set that i zero here. Okay. Um, now I'm going to need to set a background, white, okay, uh, now I want to also uh, correct the order, so I'm going to do this by adding another angle, so this is going to be a rotation angle around the x-axis, and let's say it's going to be minus 20 degrees, so I'm going to add a rotate x that a x volume and in order for this to work I need to set a body transform style uh, preserve 3d and this now works but the thing is, if I make this larger, something like this, you'll notice that the items shrink. So in order to fix this, I'm going to set a scaling factor along the y-axis, and this is 1 over cosine of this ax angle. So here I'm going to have scale y, this fy factor. Okay, so uh, this works no matter the angle. So I can do something like 80 and it's still going to work. I can do something like 20, like 10, and it's still going to work. No problem. Okay, uh, now I'm actually going to uh, set these two. I'm going to set them 
uh, to a base chain. And okay, so I'm going to have the base chain here. Now I'm going to have keyframes. Um, zero percent. Um, here I'm going to have a difference percentage. Uh, let's say five percent for this and. So I'm going to use this here. And I'm going to have, uh, then I'm going to have a unit percentage, which is 100% minus twice that difference percentage over three. Okay, and my next keyframe is going to be, um, this plus that unit percentage so um, something else I'm going to do here is change that distance and let's say it's going to be 0.75 D so uh, here I'm not going to have D I'm going to have X and I'm also going to create a J value and this is zero initially and then I'm going to modify it here nth child um, odd and for this J sorry J is going to be one here um, then I'm going to set animation uh, two seconds uh, is in out infinite okay and then I'm going to set a multiplier for that x value and this is going to be a calc um I don't know let's say 1.5 times um, that j value uh, plus one okay so um this is it for starters here I'm going to have a uh, calc uh, so it's going to be this volume uh, times a multiplier okay so this works now the next set of keyframes is going to be uh, twice and I'm going to have a multiplier for the angle. So um, I'm going to have uh, so one is going to be um, one and the other one is going to be uh, minus one. So um, I'm going to have um, I minus two J plus one. So this is going to be calc i minus 2 times j plus 1. Okay, and here I'm going to have that multiplier uh, m a. Okay, so um, this works pretty well actually. Um, so I need to uh, get back and here I'm going to have just X again and this is going to be 100% uh, minus that difference percentage and it's also going to be 100% so um, yeah this is it I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or any suggestions for future videos, just drop them in the comments below or send them on Twitter. And until next time.